Hello and welcome to Pop Along RC. Before we can talk about my VR and my racing simulation setup, I need to take you way back to where it all began. Now, there's many of you out there right now, similar sort of age as me. I'm not going to disclose what that is. You'll be able to guess though by what's coming up next. Now, many of you would have started your racing on this machine. An amazing piece of history right there. Now, it wasn't long before this uh, little machine was replaced by the digital age and computers and this was, in fact, one of my first ever controllers. Can you guess what it's from? You've guessed it, the Atari 2600. And once I moved on from the 2600, oh yeah, it was the Commodore 16. Look at that, I bet that brings back some memories for some people. The Commodore 16 was shortly followed by, you guessed it, the Commodore 64. Wow, we I do remember the first time I had a go on the Commodore 64 and it was like, ah, oh, the, the, the quality of image compared to the 16, it was amazing. You guys today don't know how lucky you've got it. Anyway, after that came the time of the console. First time, actually, that I felt I was playing some sort of simulator was the Toka Race series on the PlayStation. Now, I wasted, no, I didn't waste, it wasn't a waste. It was fond memories. Oh, I spent a lot of time racing on Toka Race Driver. I mean, a lot of time. I used to go around a friend's house and we used to play till like four in the morning. I can't talk about the PlayStation without talking about Gran Turismo. Now, this game is an absolute classic. And as we get on to the PlayStation, I have actually still got some of my PlayStation games. So let's have a little look here. We've got F1, F1 on, from 2010, guys over a decade old. Sega Rally uh, re-released there for the PlayStation 3. I couldn't not get that. Now, Sega Rally, actually, uh, if we look at the original footage, you've got the Toyota Celica, which inspired something, which I have to, I have to share with you. The Toyota Celica TL01 was my last purchase at a BT store. I've had a few because this bag, you might recognise some of the pictures on the front here. Um, I actually had the hot shot. That was my first RC car back in the day. So back to the computer games. God, I've, I've gone off on one here. When I got my PlayStation 4, I got Project Cars. And at the same time as getting Project Cars, I also got my, I got my steering wheel. Now my steering wheel is uh, the Thrustmaster, amazing. The force feedback you get when you're driving is really realistic and I absolutely love my steering wheel. Now, the steering wheel bolted to a little coffee table isn't quite the same as having your own little car seat. And that is exactly what I've got. I have got um, this fantastic little car seat. Now, I also like, and this is what really adds the extra dimension is, where is it? It's this game here, Drive Club VR. Now, for this, I don't even need to plug into the TV. I literally put my headset on, I sit in the car, and when you've got that headset on, you can look around the car, you can feel the steering wheel in your hands, you can feel the chair around your back, you can lean out and look at the side of the, it's just so immersive, that feeling of being in the car it is, it's amazing. I, I really do enjoy my VR. Um, and at the moment, I've tried quite a few games, but at the moment, it, Drive Club VR is the best game for me. That being said, at the same sort of time as the VR was coming out, we had something in the RC world called FPV. Uh, next year, we're gonna have to get going with some FPV racing with the RC cars and uh, see how immersive that is in comparison to the VR racing. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my little trip down memory lane there. It was a very quick video. Um, we're in lockdown still so we can't get out and race and I'm kind of, I'm probably going to have a little session on the old VR racing this evening just to get that little racing buzz out of my system. 
Um, please like, please subscribe, and until the next time, stay safe, people.